This is an enamel defect of a lower canine tooth. And in theory, these don't always need treatment as they have, in most cases, already sealed the exposed dentine tubules from within. But in this case, we wanted to make the surface nice, smooth, and uh, a little bit more resilient. So the way we do it is we use a diamond burr. This is a pear-shaped pear -shaped diamond burr, just to get rid of that diseased enamel and dentine. So you want to use control movements, don't take too much, and um, get rid of all that diseased dentine and enamel. And if you use a medium or coarse diamond burr, your restoration will attach a little bit better compared to using a very fine diamond. So I'm trying not to take too much tooth substance away, but enough to get rid of that diseased and loose enamel and dentine. So for the next step, I want to bevel the edges to make the surface for that restoration a little bit larger. It uh, helps with retention of this restoration. So you just want to bevel the edge about 45 degrees. Less than that probably. 20 degrees just to make that edge an oblique oblique angle so your restoration has a larger surface of enamel to attach attach to So after we air dry, we can easily see that nice surface here. So the next thing is that you can either go with a 37% phosphoric acid right away, or you can use a self-etching bonding material. This is a seventh generation. This is called Futura Bond M+. Plus. And what it does is, when you apply it, it etches the surface and it applies that, applies that bonding material. So you just want to rub it, rub it in really well, preferably for around 20 seconds. And then you use your three-way syringe and you flush with air to make this layer as thin as possible. Then you light cure. Depending on the output of your curing gun, 
there's a difference in how many seconds you have to light cure. Usually it's around 20, 10 seconds for most veterinary light guns. Some of the more powerful ones are only 3 seconds. After this you may notice that I'm applying some orange light and that is when uh, because this is uh, the composite I am applying and I don't want it to cure prematurely so that's why we have that orange light because it blocks the blue light that will cure this. In this particular dog I used a flowable like a hybrid uh, composite which is pretty strong but still flowable, easier to um, apply. If you want even a better strength, you can use a, a hard composite that is more like a hard wax that you have to push on. But here I use this um, flowable. So after this you light cure again for longer duration. And this one, I would like cure that for 20 seconds. The next part is you have to smooth. As you may notice, I put too much on, and that's on purpose. So I made, uh, I don't try to f align with the two surface when I, I apply it, I put too much on and then I, I sand it down with these sanding discs. I like the discs on the canine teeth because they adapt to the surface pretty well and they are very effective at reducing any edges that you are, uh, that may be there. So now I switch to this is a polishing like a rubber, a flat version. So this has a finer grit than the polishing disc that you saw before. So this is just to smooth everything out very nicely. I'm using this rubber disc. And here's a very important step. You want to make sure that there's absolutely no cracks, no edges. Uh, where the restoration meets the tooth. So use a very sharp instrument. In this case I'm using a Pigtail Explorer. This is, it looks pretty big on this magnified video but it's, it's very small and very sharp. And here I can detect if there are any edges that I need to smooth down even further. Now I'm moving up to even softer polishing. This is like a Profi cup uh, or profi um, burr, polishing burr. So this is just for the final smoothing of that surface. So you air dry it again, make sure there's absolutely no moisture. And then you apply a final layer of the bonding material. So this is some unfilled resin, again the Futura Bond M+. And the reason we apply this is when you light cure the composite, it will shrink just a little bit. So in theory, there will be a very small crack around the edges and you want to fill that with your unfilled resin here to make sure that the surface has been completely filled. Then you light cure again for five to 10 seconds. And that's it. Now you're done. Recheck in six months with an x-ray.